All right, so we've done absolute values. We've done inequalities. Now, let's smash them together. We're going to do absolute value inequalities. Here we've got absolute value of x is greater than 2. Now you want to think about, remember, what does absolute value mean? It means distance from 0. So this absolute value of x, x is greater than 2 spaces from 0. So let's look at our number line down here. If I'm at 0, I know x is more than 2 spaces away. So if we went to the right, we'd go 1, 2, we know that we're more than two spaces away. So let's go ahead and shade greater than. And um, two spaces from zero also could be one, two. Negative two is also two spaces away from zero, but we are more than two spaces away. So we're all of these spaces out here. So how we would write the answer for this problem would just be x is less than negative two, or, remember we have this gap here, or x is greater than 2. In this problem, we have absolute value of x is less than 3. This means that x is less than 3 spaces from 0. So, first let's find out where 3 spaces from 0 are. We've got 1, 2, 3 on this side. I'm going to put an open dot because we don't have the equal to sign under here, and we have one, two, three spaces on this side, and we are less than three spaces. So I know that all these spaces in between, this is one space from zero, two space from zero, one space, two space, all the values in between are less than two spaces away from zero. And remember, how we write our answer for this one is you just say that x is in between the values of negative 3 and 3. Okay, this one's a little more interesting. Here, we don't just have an x inside the absolute value. We've got an absolute value of x minus 2. But the principle is the same thing. This whole absolute value, whatever's inside the absolute value, has to be greater than or equal to 1 space from 0. Here we've got our number line. We're focusing on the spaces that are uh, our important number here is one space from zero, so that's on the left is going to be at negative one. I'm going to do a solid dot this time. The solid dot, remember, because we've got this equal to underneath the sign. And then on the other side, positive one is also one space from zero. Again, let's do our solid dot. Now here we've got x minus two is more than, greater than or equal to one space from zero. So it's going to be these outside values because all of these values from negative 2, negative 3, or 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the values following these areas are more than one space from 0. Now we're not quite done yet because we know that x minus 2 is more than one space is from 0. So if I wrote my answer here, instead of x is less than negative 1, I'm going to have x minus 2 is less than negative 1. So x minus 2 is less than or equal to negative 1 or x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 1 because I know that the x minus 2 is more than one space from 0. Now since I've got that I do need to solve for these to get my final answer so I can add 2 here that gives me x is less than or equal to 1 or let me add 2 on this side and this side x is greater than or equal to 3 these are going to be my final answers. Let's do one more. Here we've got 4 is greater than absolute value of x over 3 minus 1. Now we could solve it like this, but remember a lot of times people like to see the variable on the left side. It's just typically a little easier. So you could think of this like absolute value of x minus 3. x over 3 minus 1 is less than 4, but I'm going to go ahead and switch these Around. So I'm going to rewrite this as absolute value of x over 3 minus 1 is less than 4. Just because for most people it's a little better of a format to comprehend. But again, you could leave it like this. So going from here, x over 3 minus 1 is less than 4 spaces from 0. Let's go down to our number line here. We're interested in 4 spaces from 0, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 at the negative 4. I'm going to do an open dot, 
And then on the other side, one, two, three, four, I'm going to do another open dot. And we're looking for the values that are less than four spaces from zero. That's going to be everything in between these two values because we want, again, less than four spaces from zero. Now, we're not done yet. This is going to be x over 3 minus 1. Remember, whatever is in our absolute value here, that's what we need to include down here. And this is in between negative 4 and 4. So I'm going to say in between negative 4 and 4. From there, we do need to solve. Let's go ahead and add 1 to each side. That's going to give us a negative 3 is less than x over 3 is less than 5. Then we're going to have to times 3 times 3 times 3. That's going to give us negative 9 is less than x is less than 15. This is going to be our final answer. So whenever you solve these types of problems, absolute values, always set it up on a number line first and then use your absolute value to set up an inequality and solve from there. Okay, the last thing that you're going to want to pay special attention to once again is these absolute values, because they're always positive, have a few special cases to consider. Let's take a look at this one. Absolute value of x is less than negative 2. Now before we start graphing and whatnot, let's think about this. We know absolute value is always positive. So when is this positive ever going to be less than a negative? Well, never, right? So whenever you have an absolute value less than a 0 or less than a negative, you're always going to get no solution. So we don't even need to graph that one. Over here we've got an absolute value of x is greater than negative 5. Remember, absolute value of x is always positive, so when is a positive number going to be greater than a negative number? Always. So in this case, when an absolute value is greater than a negative, this is going to be all real numbers. Pay special attention to when you have absolute values uh, less than, equal to, or greater than a negative because a lot of people make the mistake and start solving when they really can just write no solution or all real numbers right from the start.